Well, we're nearing the end of the Google Docs Essentials. Now we're going to take a look at inserting building blocks, which is another new feature in Google Docs. Uh, from the insert menu, you just go down to building blocks and you'll see a couple things. You have meeting notes, email draft, calendar event draft. The code block I'm not going to cover because it's just for coding. Um, and then for business, you have the product roadmap, the review tracker and project assets. So let's just take a look at that in the sample document that we're working with. So in this case, we've inserted a building block called meeting notes and meeting notes are pulled from calendar events and um, include contact information for all invited to the event. So in this case, I clicked on insert meeting notes. And these are the notes for um, our upcoming training. So you have a link to the calendar event, um, a link to the notes, and um, any other details as well. So insert meeting notes. So let's go ahead and take this out, All right? And I'll put that back in. Click on insert, building blocks, meeting notes, and then I pick a, an event and I click on it and my notes are there and any other other information about it. Um, if I need to share access with attendees, I will. All right. And that's how meeting notes work. One of my favorites of all time is the email draft because it allows you to craft an email collaboratively or for people and then give them access to the doc. And when they click on the M, the email, it opens up their email and they can now send that email out to people. So in this example here, we have an email draft that we've created for our teachers about new classroom routines. And we're like, we want all of you to send this email out to your parents from you, uh, modify it, you know, but here's the content and look how snazzy that is. Now, I, if I want to change, you know, fonts or anything, make any changes to it, I can. But if somebody asks me to draft an email, that several people can send out, and I can think of a hundred scenarios for that, um, you can do that. Now I use this too for, I do weekly, a lot of weekly updates for different things or bi-weekly, uh, fortnightly updates. So I'll make it in a Google doc, my fortnightly updates or the emails that go out weekly to, let's say to parents, right? So I draft it and then I draft another one, I draft another. So I have the history of that fortnightly email or that weekly email in a Google Doc, even though I have it in my sent mail, I have that history in a Google Doc. It makes it really easy. Um, and I can keep the document up to date as new things develop. So it's a lot easier for me to just go into the doc and, and update it as we go through the week and be like, oh yeah, Monday recap, Monday, Tuesday recap, Tuesday. And then I just go to the doc and then at the end of the week, when I'm ready to nail it, it's ready to go. And I click on mail and it goes out. Very handy. You do this by clicking on insert, building blocks, and email draft. And that's this. Um, and the other thing is um, if you need to think about details and collaborate on a calendar event, you can go ahead and click on um, insert, uh, building blocks, calendar event draft, and you can start drafting a calendar event, which is super handy. Who are you inviting? When is it going to be? What's in the description? event title. And then once you're ready, you can go ahead and schedule that calendar event. So those are uh, the building blocks. Um, the other building blocks for project management include the um, project roadmap, the review tracker, and the project assets. And you know, I really don't think it matters to me that they have these three options because they're pretty much all the same. The, here's a, a few differences. One is this has the file. So if I click on it, it automatically has the file um, asset in there for me to use. Um, I can change this criteria. I can add and edit the options. Um, this is the project name. I can change this name. So if you want to have the related file column, then you would use the project roadmap. Um, if you want to just have reviewer status notes, you can, but you can always change these titles, add more columns, delete a column, 
Um, they don't have to have the person in it. So um, it's really, it's really irrelevant. They're just showing you some examples of how you can integrate smart chips into a table and add drop downs to bring it all together to create like a little area where you can track progress. I love this on strategic planning. So if you have um, long range smart goals, um, long range plans with like incremental things that you need to get done to achieve that goal, this is a great way to develop those. Um, so if you're working with teachers who have to do professional development, develop smart goals and do activities to meet that smart goal, um, these are great, great tools for doing that. So that pretty much sums up the building blocks uh, with meeting notes, email drafts, calendar, and then bring it all together in the table um, with smart chips and um, and the tables to create roadmaps, trackers, and things like that. So, huh, yeah, um, wouldn't expect that you would take advantage of these right away. I would think that it would take time to develop um, a need. I would start out trying the email draft, uh, super, super helpful. So in the next video, we're gonna take a look at revision history and close out the essential tips for Google Docs.